Hey everyone, this is Chuck from Cubold Gaming, and today I will be giving you a bunch of very important tips for starting out in Satisfactory. If you ever played Satisfactory, you will know that it is not easy to start out. One major issue that I see starters have is the fact that they don't know where to start their factory. Base location is very important in this game because if you have a bad area, it will be very hard to future-proof your factory. So the first tip I have for you is to find a large, flat area with an iron and copper deposit nearby. Having a large area to make multiple factories is key, but if you need to run a thousand meters to get to the nearest ore deposit, then what's the point of staying there? If you are first starting out, try making your factory in the grass fields, because the stats of the area are all very well rounded. Just make sure you have enough ore deposits around or else you will be having a ton of trouble if you don't know what to do. The second tip that I have for you is to focus on the milestones and automating materials. The milestone system is super important because that is how you get upgrades and progress through the game. Make sure you get the milestones done as soon as you can, but also focus on automating everything so you can easily progress later on. You will be building a lot of factories, but if you have the milestones completed and no automation, then what's the point of doing the milestones at all? You need both things to progress through the game easily, so be smart about what you do. The third tip that I have for you is to take a lot of time to just perfect your automation. My first world in Satisfactory was a terrible mess. I didn't have enough space for any new factories, and I just felt very claustrophobic with everything being so close together. Take a ton of time before doing anything to just make sure that everything is even and to also give space to all that you have to do later on. The fourth tip that I have for you is to use the MAM as much as possible. With the MAM, you are able to research all sorts of objects and unlock new items and upgrades for your character. You can get more inventory slots, new weapons, and even new materials to craft. Everything you can do in the MAM is super useful and is one of the things you should get as soon as you possibly can. The fifth and final tip that I have for you is to not throw anything away. Storages are very easy to craft and how hard is it to make one and throw everything in your inventory into it so you can carry more items. At first, you will feel like constantly throwing stuff away because you don't have any space for more items. But just make a bunch of chests to place all your items in until you can upgrade your inventory slots. I always kept my inventory very low but I never threw anything out until like 20 hours or so into my playthrough. I hope you found these tips helpful and make sure to like and subscribe. Also check out our podcast and Discord server. All links are in the description.